Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the managing director here at Cinema Blend, and most of the time, this job is unbelievably cool. Like, I get to do some amazing things and often report back to you here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, but every once in a while, uh, we get to do things like Sean watches cats for the very first time and reacts to it. And I'll be honest with you, I was kind of looking forward to seeing this movie, and I really did want to get to the theater to see it because of the... Um, curiosity factor, right? And I don't mean like curiosity to kill the cat. That's a really lame joke. Um, but more just like everybody came out of it talking about like how surreal uh, Cats was. And it just, you know, the holidays got really busy. I was catching up with a lot of Oscar contenders. Uh, we were covering Star Wars to the max and Cats just slipped off my radar until today. Um, it's available on digital and uh, DVD, or it's coming to DVD. The video team, uh, the editors, the high editors, who we love so much on this channel, thought it would be really entertaining to watch me watch cats. And so that's what we are about to do. Uh, Tom Hooper directed uh, such amazing films as The King's Speech and also the adaptation of Les Miserables. He uh, led Anne Hathaway to her uh, Oscar win uh, for, for performing in Les Miserables, and he is tackling the stage adaptation of Cats. Uh, for reasons unknown to most about anybody, you're about to watch me watch Cats. I hope you enjoy it uh, as much as uh, the Cinema Blend team believes that everyone is going to enjoy it. Before I hit play on this, listen, you don't want to miss out on the type of content that we are delivering here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, such as Sean O'Connell reacts to cats. Uh, so make sure that you hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. Uh, the minute that my next reaction video drops on this channel, you will be able to run right over, watch it with me, uh, and then uh, then we can all enjoy movies like cats uh, together. Well, I hope this is 30 minutes long. Oh, okay. I know that song. Now that's an entrance. I mean, this is Cats, right? This is exactly what I kind of thought Cats would be. It's super Broadway. Alright, now that looks cool. Look at that. Oh, my cavity. Oh, there's Idris. <laughs> okay, but if you love Cats, this is probably awesome. Okay, I was gonna, just gonna say, please don't have another verse. Cat got your tongue? Oh. Oh. Alright. I mean, clearly some really talented people worked on this. The dance choreography is impressive, and the cats look okay! They look okay! Make what is known as the Jellicle Choice. The Jellicle Choice? What the? When old Deuteronomy just before dawn, through a silence you feel you could cut with a knife. Are we supposed to know what Jellicle means prior to this? I ain't never heard it before. Up in the sky, from where the most deserving cat will be reborn into another life. Please, so they can be who they've always dreamed of being. I need to see cat heaven. Show me cat heaven, Tom Hooper, you coward. Rebel. Oh, rebel. Oh. She sits. That's cool that you don't have to have dancing skills to get cast in a musical. She's singing into a skinned tail. We almost done? Oh, no. No. Don't get cocky. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! I borderline want to go back and see the original cast recording to see if these are really the songs from the show. Because they're not good. Like, do people listen to this? I can give props to the production team. The production design is consistently great. What's happening on the sets, not so much. So far, every song goes about three minutes longer than it should. Is any of this important? Glamour Cat's shade for take your baggage elsewhere, cat. We don't want to hear none of your drama today. <laughs> We're singing about Jellicle. Good evening, all. Oh. Oh no, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, stop. Oh, the 
Did he kill her? You'll never get me up there on your own. So let's gather up a few more of the cats and we'll try again, shall we? What? Why? Why did he break the fourth wall? He just broke the fourth wall and stared at us and said the word cats. Oh! Oh! Stop! 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 Is he like Satan? I've heard the criticism that this whole movie is just cats introducing themselves, and now I get it. You're just in time to see old Deuteronomy. Who is old Deuteronomy? Don't ask! <laughs> Don't ask. I'm going in my head. The people who we haven't seen yet. And the only two I can think of are Judy Dench and Taylor Swift. Oh, Ian McKellen is in this too. That's right, I forgot. Oh my. Yes. Dame Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics in this show suck. I mean, I'll give Tom Hooper credit for this. He is all in. He has not compromised his cat vision one bit. You can put a huge dance number in the middle of it, but it's no different than what we have been seeing already. So you're not impressing me with this by any stretch. You're just padding the runtime. <laughs> Dance off. What it is about this movie is that it even looks really small scale. Like, I guess you could have made this feel kind of epic, but it looks like it was shot on a soundstage. The whole thing looks like it was shot on, like, it's sometimes a well decorated soundstage, but still just a soundstage. But Victoria, you're like classically trained, and the Jellicle Cats have no interest in that. Like, they're totally improv. Do not associate with that cat. Social distancing. This is it? This is a showstopper? It's a beautiful song. It doesn't fit anything that we've heard up to this point. I mean, clearly, Victoria is going to be the Jellicle choice, right? So I'll dance with these beautiful ghosts. Best song in the show so far. Beautiful. Everybody's giving it their all, but these songs are just not memorable. Is that is that sacrilege or is that common knowledge in the Broadway crowd? Alive tonight was truly inspirational and scary. <laughs> Who asked for this? I'm praying for a train to arrive. I, I thought this might be fun. Now I'm just angry. One hour and ten minutes in is the moment when cats just beat me. Taylor Swift? <laughs> I would ask if she has the ability to save this movie, but it's way too far gone. Is this an intro? To Idris, and Idris is gonna get his own song too? Oh my god, he has no clothes. How come sometimes they have clothes and other times they have no clothes? This is so embarrassing for everybody involved. Make her walk the plank. What? We're in a walk the plank situation here? You're a magician. Because Jellico cats do, and Jellico cats can. Like, just do it. Just do it. Don't, don't do a song. <laughs> don't do a song. Oh God! Please stop! Please stop! Please do the trick. Please do the trick and stop singing about who you are. One more try. I'm actually in physical pain. <laughs> it's a metaphor for this entire movie. Just because you believe in something doesn't mean it's gonna work. A cat so clever. Come with me! Oh my god. Literally, everyone involved in this movie should never work again. My soul left my body a while ago. So it's not here to witness 
the remainder of this atrocity. I am to turn my face to the She's really good. She's very talented. What? Drama cat? Get out of here with your drama. Drama cat. She brings too much drama. But wait, she has a song. I must wait for the sunrise. I mean, is this supposed to be emotional? The problem with this movie is that the show in general is bad. Maybe I'm not breaking any ground here. Maybe people understand that. I never knew that. I don't understand how you could be so popular. You are the Jellicoe choice. What? Not Victoria? Great. End. End the movie. Perfect. Great way to end. Don't do Macavity again. Tom Hooper thought this was going to be the big stand up and applause moment in his theaters. Supply some caviar or Strasbourg pie, some potted grass or salmon. Dude, look at his lips. Sure yeah, commitment. I believe you truly are a Jellico cat. <laughs> I don't say this lightly when I tell you that I am legitimately embarrassed for everyone involved in that in that movie. Uh, I mean, starting with Tom Hooper. Like, if that's Tom Hooper's vision for Cats um, and a studio greenlit that, then people should have lost jobs. Uh, there's just no way around that. Like, but again, I I'm ultimately going to go back even further and blame the musical. I don't really know what the musical is. If that's the musical, and I'm, I'm legitimately curious, like I'm going to go back and, and do some research now to find out if that's exactly what the musical is. If those are the songs, um, if those are the, the numbers, if people who are diehard fans of Cats went into it, like I can't wait for the uh, Skimble Shanks, the railway cat sequence, um, then maybe it's just Tom Hooper did the best he can with some god awful material because the the music in it is is bad like the music is bad and and unremarkably uh unmemorable like i i won't really recall a single song from this um but just repetitive like like lame cat puns and just the each song is is primarily just them naming themselves over and over again like just repeating their names and and who they belong to um including the railway cat like that's my example of, of just being one of the worst now you know some of the performers in here are really talented and i'm gonna i'm gonna shout out to francesca hayward who plays victoria who can legitimately sing and dance and and had what i think to be is one of the most beautiful numbers in it um obviously jennifer hudson can sing right i just don't think memory is a, a remarkable song it's extremely famous um but i don't necessarily think it's really that good and i don't see i don't think it's good in the context of the show uh, i can't stress enough that i don't think the show is good <laughs> like if this is the show the show is really bad and this might be a really faithful adaptation of what the show is but but if that's the case and i've kind of heard over the years the cats isn't really like a good show but like it's become the show that tourists who come to new york city and and want to see something on broadway that they gravitate toward uh, and that's what keeps it going but it's a traveling production too like it's come it comes around from town to town and but holy mother of god the uh, the rum tum tugger funky disco music and and the rebel wilson can't dance so lord knows why she was because i mean all of her comedic bits her and james corden's comedic bits with the cockroaches and the mice that just could not have fallen more flat like every bit of physical comedy that those two tried to do uh was a disaster like there was there was a, a nut shot where james corden gets like catapulted up in the air and like comes careening down on his nuts and tom hooper wants us to laugh at that that's embarrassing I, that's the word that i just keep coming back to is embarrassing like that's embarrassing that movie is embarrassing on every single level and um i truly believe that the people involved in it should go into some sort of um 
purgatory. They should be uh, on the shelf for a little while and and more talented people who didn't allow cats to happen should be given a shot at some jobs. Uh, and that means you too, Idris Elba, because I don't know what you're doing as McCavity. I don't know what you were doing as McCavity, but that, that was, there was not enough scenery left to chew uh, for everybody who was overly theatrical in Cats. <laughs> no one dialed it back. Sir Ian McKellen did not dial it back. Um, maybe Judy Dench to a certain extent, but you're not getting out of this unscathed, unfortunately. Everyone needs to go into some type of purgatory. And I, in addition to me being angry, um, because, you know, oh, this sounds like a lot of fun. Like, let's let Sean watch Cats and react to it, Cinema Blend staff. Um, this was mean. This was borderline mean. Um, and I'm going to hold this grudge for a while. Uh, I'm not going to forget that you guys made me do this. I'm not. Um, so if this reacting to movies thing is going to become a, a deal, uh, people do me a favor, go down to the comment section and recommend better films. <laughs> I get that this is the kickoff of, uh, when can we break Sean's spirit? Uh, and I, I mentioned, uh, at the, the point where my soul left my body. Um, but I'm happy to react to movies and I'll gladly keep doing this for y'all, but, but please make them better. Please make them better than cats. Uh, head down to the comment section. Give me your suggestions. Let me know what movies you would like to see me react to. Uh, and I'll do them here for the YouTube channel, uh, providing that the um, glorious uh, editors allow me to do it. Uh, while you're here, do me a favor. Hit subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Um, we're going to be trying a bunch of different videos like this here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, and we want to make sure that you guys are around for every single one of them. So in addition, while you're here, go find my reaction series. I did one uh, for... Game of Thrones, the entire series of Game of Thrones. I'm in the middle of doing a Westworld reaction series too. Uh, you can dial into, of course, The Mandalorian is on there too. You can see me react to Baby Yoda for the very first time. Tons of great content here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on your, your notifications so that you don't miss a single video that we post.